We're starting volume two, we're chapter seven, eight, and nine. We'll jump into chapter seven straight away. Otherwise, hello YouTube, this is Miss Crazy again. We're back with Battle Angel Elite to the Last Order. Chapter seven and cruelty of the world. I still have pizza, so sorry about that. Okay, so the first three chapters cover about 100 pages, and then the second cover somewhere is around 65 to probably 100 pages, so. The foot of this giant robot lands right next to Jim's care unit, the father. And he's yelling and trying to back up and the robot just flicks him. Like real, like just barely f like whips his finger and it destroys him. Yeah. Oh, oh, stop. And he's getting picked up. A right leg gets torn off of him. Jim, help me. Jim's dead. You just saw it. This robot is just playing. Gah. And it's just being ripped. Jim is getting ripped to pieces. He's dead. Jim's father is dead. Hmm. We have Alito back with both arms. Great. You're almost cured. How are you feeling, Gally? Good. I think that I may be deteriorating, though. Deteriorating. Deteriorating. You imagine this body perfectly Im imaginates the contract and function of the human body. Because it's so new, the muscle fibers, it's not worked out yet. But if you keep moving and exercising, it helps. You know a lot. That's, that's, that's a compliment. And the bottle 100 is blushing. I want to say, you, uh, ask you something. Since I got this body during high speed battles, I often experience moments where my body doesn't react to what my mind tells it to do. I mean, to move and my, body, my mind sees me moving, but my body doesn't obey because of this. I was put in some very dangerous situations. Do you know about this? Expert system, referring, or referencing. Kelly, I know what, you're, what that is. You're, you're, you're in the astro trip. I want a trip. What the? <laughs> what, what are you talking about, Nora? From what you've told me, your symptoms must resemble that which is known as phantom limb. If a person loses a limb, but often feels as it, if it, it's, it is still there, I think. Your sensation is similar. The reason for this is not in your body, but in your brain. I'd like to know why, but I want to avoid being checked by Nova. Here we are, and 100 is still falling. I thought it was bolted to the ground, but no, it's just the weird leggings on it. The adults should be there, down there. We will wait here, though. Why would you do that? The adults are our enemy now. If they find us, they will do something to us. Okay. Number 100, you stay here and protect these two girls. You can count on me. And over the cliff. Yep, that's where the adults are. A bunch of them. And you have a robot trying uh, breaks through the adults area. They send all these metal poles and trap it. Okay, now. Yes, it worked very well. Don't let your guard down, everyone. And this robot had a bunch of smaller robots in it. 
Her position hasn't changed yet. This is not good, though. Alita jumps through the air. And is now destroying all the robots. She killed those MIB machines so quickly. She's not human. Thank you so much for your help. You're not a Samal... A Salmite, though. What are you doing here? I'm... Mom! <laughs> oh, we have... We have Pam. Pam sneaks by. Mom! Pam! Pam, you're alive! Pam, Clench. You, you're... You have betrayed us. Wait. We cannot allow this. Did you forget what rules Mr. Cassie left us to go by? Huh? Marge Mahan? Kids without chips for a brain are our enemy. Even if that kid is yours, when did Cassie become our leader? What power he did have with us he gained by force. What did you say? She's right and you have people... Who said that? And she, he turns his gun towards the people who just yelled that. You! Leave here with that kid. This instant. Why won't you fools open your eyes? Those of us that were lucky enough to survive. Can we afford to be fighting one another? Aren't they just kids? And you have these three guys. They all are holding like cannon like weapons. Marge. Either you leave right now with that kid. Or you can stay here and we'll kill you for the traitor that you are. Pam. And I are not going anywhere. And she's holding Pam now. If you're going to shoot us, then go ahead and do it. And then one of them gets a pie to the face. And it's getting vegetable stone. Why don't you monsters leave? Screw you! And when he goes to fire, Elisa's already up and puts the gun, points the, his gun to the ground. What? And all three of them get kicked down onto a table down below. You... You lose. You're lucky the table broke your fall. Damn you! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. You saved us, miss. Kelly, I'm looking for a friend of mine. Okay, back over to Edo. Not, sorry, I keep calling him Edo. Back over to... I don't know why. Nova... Back over to Nova... Uh, wolf and Elf. They're all down underground looking at this robot now walking around. Doctor, what's that? It doesn't look anything like an MB, MIB type machine. Ah, there's Roscoe. He's cute. Do you know him? That's Ro Jim Roscoe. He had a very promising future. He was to be my successor. Elf and Wolf, take Jim back from that monster and do it quickly. Are we going to do it, Wolf? Let's do it. Mirror, uh, wire, work. And they attack, they basically have both wires attached to both their hands. And they jump around there, jumping around it constantly. Come on, big brother. Come on. But they have attached wires everywhere. So this thing cannot move. It's like the Doflamingo effect. It just can't move anymore. Wire work is done. It was easy because he's so big. No. Right, Sesh is with them. No. He cannot escape. His body will be divided into pieces by his own power if he tries to move. That's the same trick that took my arm off. My right arm, uh, right, right arm. Nova, Sensei, you have survived? He talks? I don't think I want to live in this horrible world again. Let me stay dead. Is that Roscoe? Ros Rescue? Is that you? What you hear now is Jim Roscoe after image. Jim Roscoe, memory is copied on... Sh such a Mondo's brain of his new of his new brain chip Jim though 
that he hated this world before he died. He hoped that he could finish discovering the history of humans that created Salem. Roscoe. Fate surely is this. People cannot choose the place, era, or end circumstances under which they are born. As a result, the condition under which each person lives is different from the moment they're born. This is fate, and it's nature, the world to, and the world to be cruel. He's still carrying around this pee box. <coughs> I don't know where that came from, sorry. Oh. The beginning of life of life is just scientific reaction. So it doesn't exist. Spirit is just a sparkle of nerve cells. The human existence is just a shadow of, the, of memory information. Even if you have to live alone in this godless and cruel world, I order you, or you with all of my will, live. You are still young. You cannot help but yield to the burden of karma in this world. You can work for evil. You can work for good. You can... I can't believe he's actually, like, really talking to him. <coughs> you can work for good. You can work for evil. You can struggle to find your own way. Unless you are alive, your great talent is wasted. and You cannot achieve anything. He's now yelling. And he's trying to move, I think. And he broke through the wires. He broke through the wires as if they weren't there. <coughs> and you got Wolf and Elf falling back. What's with this white smoke coming from his hand? It, th I couldn't tell what that was either. It's because you can see his whole being and there's just white smoke swirling around him. Everything he touched turns to ash. The stuff that looks like white smoke is more, most likely nano-shaped thorns in a branch. Configured they enter every atom of matter they touch and destroy the molecule bond. As a nano-weapon, it's very classic idea, but in theory, there's nothing it cannot destroy. We will call it Molion Am Amagre. This that monster, uh, Sakumando. It must have been made in the MIB factory based on the Mangel's cells. But how could he have made s so great of a monster in so short? a time and cannot believe a 17 year old mind created this thing Roscoe you have amazing talent talent the place they're standing on is is collapsing the ceiling is beginning to collapse let's go doctor Roscoe God. and you can see the ceiling just collapsing on him and we have a sketch of his his former father unit Let me eat a little more pizza, and then we'll give this a rating, and then we'll move on. I got crushed last to eat two pizzas, two pieces of pizza. If I don't eat it now, the crust is going to be really hard. Oh, that one is very hard. I'm gonna put it to the side. I'll eat more later. I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. This is fucking amazing. We're jumping into chapter 8. The tall, tall tower of stacked wood. I'm hoping she can find Lou. Lou wasn't lo located in this part of Salem. She might be in the MIB core. 
According to what I've been told, she was assigned to the medical observation department and had been there for a year. Lou, I hope you're still alive. There you are. It's uh, Nora's mother. We decided that we will send a message to the kid's current position for recollation. Oh, that's good. You remind me of a, of a cat I once had. She was small and old, but held herself with such dignity and that even dogs avoided her. How old? I guess I can talk about this with you. The adults and children that have survived need to unite. There should be no problem with that. It's okay, but after that, we have to figure out a way to reconstruct Salem. For so long, we've depended on the unattended system in the medical observation department for matters of administration. Law and order, birth and death. Can we make this a peaceful society again without it? If you don't learn how to, the world you know will perish. You're a servant. You're severe in your thinking. There is one more thing I'd like to tell you. If you want, make a free country that is not governed by the M medical observation department. You must reconcile with the people of Earth. The people of Salem live by the sacrifice of the people of Earth. This is something I don't want you to forget. And I never noticed it before. You're right. I thank you for your help in pointing this out for, for uh, to me. There is one more thing that I'm worried about, though. The mysterious mac master makers that created Salem, somebody made this huge structure and system, uh, systems hundreds of years ago, right? Also, um, Kiyomi is supposed to be down there making a pillar up to it, right? And they must still be out there somewhere. They have not interfered with the co confusion that has gone on this past week. But are they going to continue to leave us alone if we decide to rebuild what they created? The Master Planner, if he or she still exists, there is only one place he or she could be. Space City Jira. The, um, so, if anything, if we base it off those two chapters that were non-canon, I'm going to keep bringing them up. Then maybe the city was, once the pillar got blo broken down below, it got abandoned. We have Pam walking back up to Nora. Nora, are you there? Nora's curled up to a ball. What do you want? I think you might be hungry. This. She hits the food out of Pam's hand. Hi. Hi. Hey, How can you do this? You should be ashamed, you traitor. Huh? Huh? What, what is going on? Stop crying and say something. Because I want, I wanted to see my mom. Gally is right. Discrimination towards people with chips and for brains is wrong. She's right. I am also human. <laughs> Don't make it more complicated than it already is. Ugh, ugh, fucking she's, Pam's just hitting 100. Help me bring everyone back together, Nora. The kids will listen to you. And Nora slaps Pam real hard. Pam falls down, glasses off. You're not my friend anymore. We're finished. Pam is a traitor. A traitor. And she's running. Jim! Wait, Jim! Wait! Okay, it's a flashback. Your parents died, huh? You don't need to be sad. Help, help me. Yeah. Look, you're not human, so no need to be sad. That's right, I don't need to be sad. 
So she's balling up her emotions behind a fake wall. Because I am not human. I'm just a thing. Jim, where are you? Kelly? Even if you have a chip in place of a brain, a human is a human. Okay, so this is her brain trying to figure out stuff. Pam is happy. She was reunited with her mom. But I don't have a mother and father anymore. If you're right, the reason... What reason do I have to go back? Tell me, Gally. No, I hate being alone. I can't be strong like you. I wish I could. She's lying down. You can hear flutters of birds. The giant robot has made it to the surface and is walking through and collapses next to her. The world through those monsters eyes is so different. These once huge walls and pillars that overwhelmed me before are nothing now. Now I know that these structures mirror a pattern of the human hearts that lived here. When I was a child I used to Work very hard making tall buildings, build, building block towers, then destroy them. All that time spent for that one moment of freedom and pleasure. But I took more to destroying the towers than other children built. All around me are building block structures made by others, mine to play with and destroy. What is this moving at my feet? A toy? It's one of the black robots. And apparently Nora fell asleep to dead Jim. Huh. Jim's dead? And he crushes that the robot like it's nothing. And he's playing with it like a toy. Nora jumps over to this piece of cloth, whatever it might be, a banner or something. And it's falling down. And then Jim, that's his human body, wakes up. Where are you going? Oh, Jim's human body it wasn't the one that did it. It's the Jim in the the robot body dangling his human corpse like a doll. Play with me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Nora, don't go. Why? How does he know my name? Don't leave me alone. Nora, Miss Nora, there, there's now a gap in between Nora and Pam. Pam, Deckman 100. The robot comes crashing through. Play with me. From all this panic, Nora gets sent through with the debris and jumps towards where Pam is. And is down under the gap below them. Oh my goodness. Run, Miss Nora. Not your friend anymore. So just go. Her glasses are gonna fall. Nora's crying. Well, well, well. Look at me, I'm dead. But you don't need to be sad. By giving up life, this world becomes one huge playground. It's fun. The way he talks, it can't be. You're up, okay, so another Nora flashback. You're up late, what are you doing? I'm, spent, I'm sending data to the automatic factory in the MIB core to make a monster. Once I finish this, I can kill all the adults. Monster. That's kind of scary. <laughs> I plan to copy my memory to his brain, but it would be good if I can put a copy of yours also. It would give him a very kind and helpful person. 
Jim, is that you? The robot is now... Uh, like, holding on to Pam when Pam gets lowered to Nora. Not a human anymore. Jim lost his hope and died. But Nora, if you were to die, all the pain would go away. No, don't listen. Nora, don't you fucking listen to him. Yeah, if I take Pam's hand, I'll have to admit to myself that I am a human, even if my brain is a chip. Every single day, every day, every single day, I'll have to face my sins and weakness. No, no, no. I hate everything in life. But there is one way I could change all that. Death. And she imagines herself falling. Jim. Pam grabs onto her hand. And they pull, they pull Nora up. And Pam, Nora, Pam is now hugging Nora. Jim. I will live. Though it makes me sad. And I am not a strong person. Goodbye. I really liked you. And he's still using the corpse of the gym. The human gym. I see. You were never in true despair at all. You were just faking your narcissism. Narcissism. I will show you true despair. And he comes to try and grab for both both Nora, Pam, and 100. And then a steel beam <laughs> comes just hurling at the face of this the monster. And he gets thrown to the ground. If you want to play that badly, I'll play with you. I'm guessing, yeah, that's the end of the chapter. Okay. Okay, eat like two more bites and then we'll jump into chapter nine. Like I said, this is the last chapter we're picking up this time. Uh, I will say right now, that was a fucking 9.5 out of 10. That was fucking beautiful. Let me drink a little bit and then we'll start. This next chapter, chapter 9, is called Which Unfulfilled Promise Is That I Wonder? So, if anything that I'm more curious about than anything now is, um, I really wonder you have Pam and Nora both back together and you have we have gotten a lot of Nora flashback I wonder how long it will take no uh Alita to destroy this robot Because if it's left in place, then it will be the end of Salem. There's no way that thing survives and is peaceful to Salem. There's no way. It just doesn't make sense. Okay. Otherwise, let's jump into chapter 9. 
which unfulfilled promises that I wonder. <clears throat> Gally. Miss Gally. <laughs> Alita throws the jacket to uh, deck 100. Alita just looks at Nora. Alita is now running down the cliff. Nora, let's find shelter. I'm staying here. What? Gally and Jim will fight. I feel miserable. I want to run away, but I need to see how things end. I feel it's my responsibility to seek this out. Nora. Come on, try and catch me. Wah. And Alita is now fighting this thing. It did not hit Alita. They're fighting. It seems <laughs> it started Professor. You have Wolf and Alfred Sash and Nova. If I still have my Synthenoid's quench gun, I could easily take that monster out. I suppose Galley and the other one left to stop him. I suppose Galley is the only one left to stop him now. Sheesh. Sock. Socko. Socko. It's only playing with her. So he won't use his moron omicle against her. Now is her chance to beat at him. I saw the records from when Galley fought Den. Den's speed, skill, and fighting spirit far exceeded that of Sako Mondo. Galley doesn't have any long range weaponry this time, but there's still no poss possibility of her losing. But she's still having the phantom limb. Sakamundo goes to grab him. Or I'm just going to probably call it Jim. Jim goes to grab him. Uh, grab Alita. Alita just dodges through the fingers. And then she broke, breaks off one of his fingers. From his... I would that be, I think, the left hand? Just because of the way it's positioned. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. She broke it clean. The ang the timing and angle is perfect. So what I'm seeing with this is definitely a lot of progression. We're in Salem and Salem has been a thing or Typhairs has been a thing that I've been waiting for for the longest time. We got like one or two chapters of it. Those fake chapters that are not canon. But this is a whole different story. These chapters. My glasses is a tiny bit dirty and screwing with me. Or it's my eyes. Okay. She broke it. Okay. Of course. He did jump back. That was nothing. I think I can catch catch you. <laughs> You're like a little bubble. Alita is now spiraling around him. Tries to kick kick his arm or something. I can't tell what he kicks. She kicks is either his his arm or shoulder. Heh, <laughs> that tickles. And she jumps up towards his face and hits both eyes. Like hits between the eyelids, both eyes. And then jumps up and does a giant slam of power into the dome of this robot. Huh. But uh, I feel a shock. Galley Heinzer hands it only gazed Sesha's body, and it it shattered her. He's laughing. It I can't believe it. 
she did it, it double handed this time. What is his body made of? Can't expect Sakamoto's body to be made by any scrap town technology. One of the cats really wants attention. <laughs> Very loud cat. The nail material used in his make it makeup is an imitation of imitation of but comes awfully close to my imaginative cells. Its strength is far beyond that of common steel. Gally will not win unless she brings out her early and imagine those body skills. And he, he kept, Jim catches Alita. I got you. That's bad, isn't it? No, it's... It must be part of her, her plan. Like when she let me cut her arm off in our previous battle. Picture her throw. She hits a statue and ends up right below Nova. She didn't really take a passive pose, did she? I think her brain is strong enough. Is this also part of her strategy? Is her head okay? Gally, can you hear me? Only plasma te techniques will work to defeat Sakamondo. However, imagine this body doesn't work the same way as the Berserker body. It doesn't have a specific origin or organ with which it, to emit plasma. The plasma torch can only manifest itself through recon recognition, recon recognition by the owner. Sorry about the story, but only two times I can really record a bunch of this is when he's sleeping or at work. Plasma. Well, Professor Nova, nice to see you again. It's Jim talking. So, are you tired of playing with Boscow's remains yet? Why don't you give them to me? I'll give you galley in exchange if you like. No way. You want to reproduce Jim and make us re-experience the horrible pain of this world. I'll reduce him to molecules so that you cannot have him. And that's what he's doing. He's doing the miss to break him down at the molecule level. Oh my god. Roscoe's mind still remains imprinted on your brain chip though. It seems you have forced me to abandon my position as a server in this matter. Now, how I act now is based on my personal desire. Get desire, Galley, bring me Sakamoto's brain ship. Don't be so selfish. This is a fight between me and him. I won't take your orders. Fine, do as you like. Just be wary of the smoke like substance Sakamoto emits from his hand. Plasma technology. No, I can't use it. Batter swing and sh he swings at Alita. It's been a long time since I last used plasma technology. I'm much more skilled now than I was before, but I can no longer recall that pureness like a knife. On Earth, I aim to be like my Damascus blade. Okay, so I'm gonna reference something here. Um, also, if Alita, if they ever do a Alita project and it actually follows to the comic instead of putting stuff in, I'll watch it immediately. But um, because other things do it that way, I'm just so shocked that they wouldn't do it that way. <sighs> But, um, I'm wondering if she, it's going to take her to the edge before she is able to figure out. Like her versus the first main bo boss of Volume 1 of Alita. The, the guy who would eat human brains for nutrients. The giant, like, mur like murderer. The one that put Edu... You know, in a wheelchair for a while. I can't think of his name. 
Let me really quickly. You go to chapters and go to volumes. Let me see something. Um, I want to find. I want to find this robot's name. Okay, flip to him. I just need them to say his name. Looking at this, all of these whole chapters, oh, fucking incredible. It has to be during this chapter because. This is the whole bar fight scene and then it comes in. Makuko, Makaku. I'm putting his name down because I'm gonna bring him up a lot because she evolved so much within one battle, and that was that battle. It was also just Shuragan, the uh, mobile ball champion, that she also evolved so much. But pff, not mentioning him all that often. Okay. I am to be like my domestic blade. Good and evil, hard and soft, bearing my conflicts like a coat of arms. Like engraven on Damascus steel. Mastering that, though, that toughness, that unbreakable strength. However, my Damascus blade won't become dull if I neglected to hone and sharpen it. It would also wear down and become blunt from over grinding. And she gets kicked through the ceiling of this the buildings. <laughs> They're back uh the different bots and Nova are backing up. He's too strong. Galley's going to die. He's not strong. He's just big and tough. Sesh is now yelling. What are you doing, Galley? You're the strongest warrior, aren't you? Yeah, uh, the strongest warrior. Stand off, Yoko. Oh, we're getting flashbacks. Awesome. Erica. No, no, no way. Yoko doesn't want to fight anymore. You're such a baby. We promised to be warriors together, just like Ger Gerda. Gerda. Is that Leia's last name or someone else? Besides, you cannot live without learning to fight. So why don't you? Cause, cause Yoko just don't want to. Look, Yoko. If you don't want to die, then you'll only only got two options to choose from: either quit fighting and become a slave, or keep fighting and become the strongest warrior. Slave or strongest warrior. Don't want to be a slave, right? Yeah. Is it really true that the strongest warrior doesn't have to fight? I've heard that if you are the strongest, the fight is fought and won before it even begins. I don't understand it, but the master told me so, so it must be true. And Yoko will become the strongest warrior. 
Yoko will be the strongest and never have to fight again. <laughs> I'm far from being the strongest. By never ending war is proof of that. Why do I fight? Because I'm alive? Then why am I alive? Why am I constantly put to shame? Holy shit. Ain't that a picture? You have... You have the 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 battle arena champion of Motorball. Jashurgan, or whatever his name is. I might be saying the wrong name, I'm thinking of the wrong person. But the arena champion, then you have the kid that the boy he lo uh, she loved that tried to make it to the city. I can never remember his name. Then you have Kiromi, and then you have Fury. Uh no, sorry. Figure four. I have names written next to each other, I'm sorry. You got figure four, you have Elo, you have you have Lou, you have Erica, you have Leia. To uh, constantly separate from those who are important to me, toyed with by destiny. I'm tired of this game. I'll reduce you to molecules. That way, even Nova can't bring you back like he did before. He goes to do this, and then suddenly his thumb breaks off. Huh? Yes. I have no doubts about it anymore. Holy shit. She's finally produced the plasma. The thin plasma blades from the tips of her fingers. People look for excuses, but one doesn't need an excuse to live. She's got plasma to work. She was making me nervous for it for a second. Probably. Got to revive her survival instinct, so I put in herself in moral danger. Her berserker body could Im initiate plasma simply by her thinking about it while in combat mode, like turning on a switch. Amanda's body is constructed differently, but I think by going through a similar process it is a it aroused a strong image of what she needed to survive and allowed the imaginal transformation. I knew it. There was a reason she kept letting him pummel her like that. <laughs> That's pretty. It's Gally's heart flame. So, just like Mako Kaku, Makaku brought, brought the, her survival instincts to be able to use that. Fine, I will give you my my smoke in return. No, no, Mahujic. Whatever it is, she starts putting force and she puts the finger, her plasma fingers up to it. And I think it blows up. What just happened? Or on Omoclay is weak against heat. It's like putting a feather to a flame. In an instant, the molecules became plasma. So an even bigger source of plasma for her to con control. Sakamondo has the ability to manipulate magne magnetic fields. <laughs> New game. Fun. It's he, Sakamondo, the robot that he is, he's very much like if you maxed out, if you your max charisma skill was one in a Fallout game. Like Fallout New Vegas. Or if you're a super mutant. That has lost most of your intelligence. This is not good. Sakamoto is heating the plasma by. Uh, something re renaissance. Judging from the color. It's already more than 100,000 C. Celsius. That's high enough to incinerate both of them. It's the exact dissolve point of plasma. If the balance of the mag magnetic field becomes between them shifts even a little bit, the one exerting less power will directly receive the high temperature plasma. Also, Gali is at a dis great d disadvantage since their formation is, be is between plasma. I can't think of any any means of escape, but Belito is just smiling, like grinning mercilessly. That's the end of the chapter. 
well, that was the last chapter this time. I, I wanted to render the first, uh, th uh, the last three chapters of Bella Angelita, but when I went to go render them, it was causing so much delay of my recording software. It usually doesn't do that bad, but for some reason today it's doing it. So what, for whatever reason it was doing it. So I said, screw it, we'll work on this. I'm going to quickly do a monster drink review right after this before we jump into three more chapters because I'm going to try to get most, if not all, of the, the parts done today. Maybe even more parts. It depends on how far we get because if we get far enough, I might do even more parts. You might have more than just seven days. Depends on how far we get and where we end. If we end on a good note, then maybe I won't. But if we end on an open note, I will keep going. I've done it before for... Um, if you ever wonder, My Hero Academia, I think we recorded all three seasons. The first three seasons I had to catch up on, I think I recorded them within a week. Two weeks? It wasn't long because I really loved it. Same thing with Shield Hero. And same thing with, I think, ReZero. The full, full first season. I've done it with shows if I got really into them. Also, I need to pick up other shows and rewatch them. But I also need to go outside and try to get more sun. So, I was that was definitely. I'm giving this a ten out of ten. This was fucking amazing. Um. So. So um. What I'm thinking about is, in these three chapters, we have seen this bot basically rampage, and it has to be stopped. They were finally found a reason to live, and it's now with Pam. Uh, they have united with the adults and kicked out the ones that are that were under. Jim's father. <laughs> and also, Alita helped them see that uh, they are getting help from the humans on the surface. So, there's a lot here. There's a lot. Um, oh, the Doc Man 100 is made to help Alita repair in that. Also, Alita has finally figured out how to use plasma again. Also, we, we got a flashback with her saying she wants to be the strongest warrior because the strongest warrior doesn't have to fight, but when he does fight, it's over in an instant. Which is fucking incredible. Um, most likely, I'll just keep this as a short review. Like I said, right now I just want to get more of this recorded. We'll review when we go on. I'm going to try to get better and better with that. Um, we have at least two more parts to record and then I'm done with the seven days. But like I said, if we end somewhere, I might pick this up tomorrow and do more of it. Or if we don't finish it today, I'll pick up more tomorrow. I have to record like Bleach and other stuff. So, <laughs> Otherwise, uh, hopefully I see you guys in the next part. When we do chapter 10, 11, and 12. Otherwise, um, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night. Actually, what am I talking about? Uh, we, still have, have, we still have three parts left. I don't know why I was counting that wrong. We still have three parts left. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next part where we pick up 10, 11, and 12. And we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> Uh, but this has been a fucking blast. I'm loving, uh, I'm loving Last Order. Last Order is fucking amazing. Like, I know at the end of Alita, it was definitely, like, going off downwards. Like, we're getting to conclusions. But this just puts so much on the table. I just want to see it fruition and see what happens to it. Oh, was really. Hope you guys do have a good day. Um... Have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night, wherever you are, just have a good day. Hopefully I see you guys next video, and uh, peace.